So, but Matt told you quite a bit of what was going on, and you probably saw some stuff, or you know, what what did you think about them? First of all, I, I didn't even think she was really married. You didn't believe her. I didn't believe she was okay. really married. I, I just felt maybe that was just her thing to yeah. just say. I just thought she yeah. had a man that was yeah. like really, really cool, and she was really. I didn't know like she was really, really, really married. I think that's honestly significant because if you're wondering. She's married, and then she's doing this. Yeah, like, no, okay, I, I guess she's I not. I thought it was a try. I think I mentioned this to someone. I was like, nah, she's definitely. I she was just had a guy. Not even before Boma, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Oh, even before Boma. Yeah, even before Boma. Why was that? Even from the beginning. Um, take us, uh, take us through and there. Yeah. Yeah. She was, so was a like little free spirit. Yeah, she was a little bit compared, compared to like me that was a little bit below than me. Yeah. What do you say? No, I said it's not like she did anything wrong during Truth or Dare, but as a married woman in Nigeria you know, on TV, I would think you'd be more careful. So, so because, because she was doing she that, was. I just thought it was just a strategy in the house, like, I'm married. I don't know. I just thought it was a strategy. I didn't I believe it until I came out, and then I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> um, so let me come to you now, Boma. Because um, a lot of people have wondered, even though you've done interviews and answered questions about this, it still feels like a mystery to a lot of people. Um, why you thought this was the route to go? It was still part of the game. And I knew at that time, I knew something that no one else knew. And they asked, because first of all, we were like very close friends. We started as friends. She had told me the marriage wasn't there, like it wasn't going on. But no one knew that. And I wouldn't say that because it's not my story to tell. Yeah. You know, she had said, you know, there was no marriage, like, like the marriage was not, like they were separated pretty much. So, but to me, apart from anything, we had a good friendship. So it was just like, okay, game, let me confuse people again. Like, because everything I did, because Perry had told me I was the most, um, what word did he use? Um, unpredictable guy. Because I'll be here now, next, and I'm over here. And you're like, yo, bro, I just thought you were here now. So to me, that was very entertaining. I just thought it was entertaining. And I think I didn't stay more than one week with any other persons. I said, okay, you know what? Since they know I stay one week, let me go a little bit further. It was still part of the game for me. Like, I didn't want people to be able to um, just predict me. So, and first of all, I felt like there were already a lot of jealous people outside there. You know, if you... I felt like, you know, I came from the States, you know, I, was already, I felt like there were already people like, waiting in the fine for the house. I already had almost 200k followers, I was verified. So I just felt like there were people that were just going to hate me, regardless of whatever it was. Like how you're in, I didn't say what I did was right or wrong, but the narrative, like trying to kill somebody, bringing, like saying knives and guns, I think it was, it went out of yeah. proportion. I didn't think it was what anyone dying. For and everything. So to me, I knew what no one else knew. And like I said, until she came out not too long ago and said that marriage ended since 2020, I knew something people didn't know. So, but for me to now run and say, because people would have said, but why didn't you like redeem yourself? Why didn't you say something? To me, I was dealing with a single woman. 